Hi everyone, so defeating the snow monster here in Kingdom Hearts 3 in Arendelle may not be the, uh, the final boss fight in the world, however, it is quite a cool one and it will challenge you, so I'm going to take you through all its different moves. Hopefully it helps you out in terms of defeating it, and if it does, drop us a like below, but I'm going to jump into the action now. Okay, so after the little cutscene, it starts off by just pounding down from above so you need to roll out of the way of that first hit and it will keep doing that every now and again but other than that it just kind of like shambles around this stage which is pretty easy to uh, go up against and the specials do a fairly decent amount of damage and you can just roll out of the way of that hit however things do get a little bit more difficult later on so to start with, I wanted to use the King's Flare, which is one of the Lynx move, which I used pretty well against the Flying Heartless. So I'm going to use it, or I used it against the, uh, the Snow Monster. And you can see, again, it's doing some good damage and taking down quite a lot of its health without letting me take any damage whatsoever. And then, because it's getting close to the end of being able to use the, uh, the special, just use the special there but you can see it didn't actually manage to connect properly so make sure you kind of check out where you are for that it should have connected but for some reason it didn't now obviously i'm not going to be able to use that move again in this fight so now it's just the case of going toe to toe with it and that's what i'm going to do now with a little bit of hyper ammo so the hyper ammo does some pretty decent damage but as it develops in the battle, it starts to get a little bit more attacky. And so you can see, even when you try to round it and get behind it to do some damage, it turns on you relatively quickly and gets you relatively fast. But if you can get in some big hits and knock it over, then you can do quite a lot of damage while it's, uh, while it's retreating. However, it will jump in the air again, so get ready to dodge out of the way. And then it's got this breath move that will still hit you even if you just about manage to trigger the kind of the tree whip move, which you're gonna see now. So if you get a chance to do this, it's good. It does quite a lot of damage and knocks it over. And once it's down, you wanna get in and do as many hits as you possibly can. But you can see it doesn't really let you do that very much before it's back up and uh, trying to claw you and throws out its armor again. Now, at this stage in the fight, I hadn't quite noticed the fact that there's a new health bar in the top right-hand corner, and what this health bar actually indicates is the armor for the snow monster. And what you need to do is take away its armor, and then you can go back to doing some damage. Now, it's pretty attacky, so it's a good idea to try to draw it out and let the other guys do a little bit of damage while you use the... Uh, Fira at it if you can get in any hits, but because it moves so quickly, it can catch up with you super fast. So what you're actually better doing is trying to get in some hits. Now luckily I had a Kupo coin, but if I'd spent more time trying to get in some hits with my hammer or using the rage form like I'm going to do now, I probably wouldn't have needed the Kupo coin. So you can see I've managed to destroy its armor and I've got three bars left and my rage form is doing some good damage and I'm able to move out of the way of the majority of its attacks, take it down to its final two bars, do as much damage as possible, and uh, yeah, just about stay in the game. Now it is a tough boss, it is a challenge, but once you've got a rage form, you should be able to do a huge, huge amount of damage on it and get it much closer to be defeated. Now ideally you want to roll out of the way of those kind of attacks and unfortunately I've used all my link moves so I can't use one of those again so maybe try to save that for later on in the fight uh, because it would have massively come in handy at this stage but you can see I'm getting pretty close and the rest of my team are doing some good damage so I should be able to finish off at this stage but like I say it is all about taking out that armor as soon as possible. If I'd managed to take that out a little bit earlier 
I probably wouldn't have needed the Koopa coin whatsoever. So that's it guys. That is how to defeat the snow monster here in Arendelle. Hopefully it helps you out. And if it does, drop us a like below. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the links on the left hand side and hit that bell button if you want to get notifications for all of our videos as they come out. You can check out the rest of our series for Kingdom Hearts 3 with the links on the right hand side. Leave any comments below and I will catch you next time.